delighted to be bringing you the commentaries for this National Hunt Day 1, all of the races here, I'm bringing you six races from Weatherby, and we're starting off with a juvenile two-mile hurdle, a needle pin Ryan Costello, Bold Highlander, Martin Leader, more of the same for Joshua Sutherland, Naked Twister, Craig Beckwith, Practice, James Shea, Red Point, looking to follow up from last week's win for Dee Thompson, Terrible King and Almasa Hiver for Thomas Rogers, Blizzard Kilroy, Dan Hughes, Corey Bell, Mike Westwood, Crusading Baranka for Craig Allen, Little Coat Grand, Derek Hinton, Modine for Alex Cherry, Moving Guerre, Ryan Costello, and Nigella Lawson completing the lineup for Paul Rhodes. And they're off. The starter lets them go, and Moving Guerre being pushed along by the jockey to start setting that early lead. Oof, looks quite keen up front, racing very freely uh, at the front of the field there for Ryan Costello, but setting a pretty decent gallop and has opened up an early lead of a few lengths over a needle pin. And in behind that one, we have Corey Bell, last week's winner, Red Point Crusading Baranka, the grey horse who was second on debut uh, for Craig Allen. And that one's racing just ahead of the two James Shea horses in those recognisable dark green silks. Bold Highlander just in behind those. Towards the rear of the field at the moment, we have Blizzard, Kilroy and Modine as they jump that flight of hurdles. And in the lead, it's still moving where... Uh, for Ryan Costello in the lead of his other runner, albeit in different silks, a needle pin. It's in the purple red point. Last week's winner wasn't particularly good at that flight of hurdles, and that allowed Corey Bell to just move on behind that. And from this bird's eye view, you can get a great shot of them all jumping over that next flight of hurdles. So it's moving Guerre still in the lead from a needle pin. And you can see there as they pass the stands there lots of race goers here at weatherby today as we've got some really big races not just after this juvenile hurdle we still have the west york uh, west yorkshire hurdle and the charlie hall chase two feature races to bring you later today so it's really brought race goers out in their hundreds and thousands today so moving guerre and a needle pin the two ryan costello runners still first and second and towards the rear of the field we have nigella lawson beautiful black horse for Paul Rhodes but perhaps not as beautiful as the individual that that horse is named after but that might just be my opinion as they go over the next flight of hurdles it's still moving Guerre in a needle pin jumping really nicely up front and uh, after racing very freely over the first couple of furlongs moving Guerre seems to have settled into a nice rhythm as they jump over that flight of hurdles and Nigella Lawson is quite detached at the rear of the field there as they go over that ne next flight moving Guerre slightly slow over it and that allowed a needle pin and red point to move up closer so practice is now moved on further ahead of the other james shea runner and that one's being tracked by more of the same for joshua sutherland on the widest uh what running widest of all uh corey bell just in behind that and the jockey gets to work and starts pushing along crusading baranka to get closer and just struggles to find a gap there and the jockey just moving it back towards the rail to get a run there and you can see that's worked for it as it's been able to pass all of those horses and is now going to lay down a challenge to those early leaders as we come towards the final three and a half furlongs moving guerre's about to be joined by one of the top trainers horses and fancies here as crusading baranka comes up and powers past moving guerre and into the lead as we approach a final two and a half furlongs has it gone off too soon red point last week's winner is going to try and catch crusading baranka got over it safely but a better jump from last week's winner red point and it's going to try and hunt it down but crusading baranka's in the lead as they go over that flight has a good couple of length advantage over Red Point. More of the same trying to stay on as is Bold Highlander for Martin Leadham. But as they come towards the last fight, oh, Crusading Baranga got in too close. And that's allowed Red Point to go past it. And as they come towards the line, Red Point is going to follow up last week, week's win with another win here in the Wensleydale Juvenile Hurdle at Weatherby. Looks a very good horse for Darren Thompson. Two very impressive wins in decent sized fields of juveniles. And Crusade in Baranka for Craig Allen has to settle for another second. So first and second in the betting, finished first and second in the juvenile hurdle here. Red Point wins it at 9-2 for Darren Thompson. Jumped the last beautifully and powered past Crusade in Baranka to take the win. Bold Highlander in third for Martin Leadham. Corey Bell, Mike Westwood will be happy with that run. And fifth was more of the same for Joshua Sutherland.